Marinade Finance, one of my most favorite dApps in the entirety of the Solana ecosystem. This is going to come into play in later videos and later lessons. So let's dive in. Let's work out how to use it, what it's all about, and let's increase our Solana, of course. So here we are at Twitter, at Marinade Finance. Click on their link tree, just here. And we've got plenty of links here. We'll click on this one. What is MSOL? And then we'll just navigate back to the, the homepage. All right, let's optimize our staking. Connect our wallet. You can read the terms of use and privacy and confirm that you're not in any jurisdiction where you're not allowed and connect with Phantom. You can see I'm connecting the DeFi address, not my staking address. And that's because I'll be using MSOL in a future tutorial to basically DeFi further with it. So we'll click on connect and we are connected. We can see it says active positions, eight sol and a little bit of B sol 0.1. If we scroll on down, we can see there are two recommended strategies. This one, 7% where we get M sol, that's what I'm wanting. And this one down here, which has no smart contract exposure and that earns a little bit higher, 7.52%. And what they basically do is they distribute the Solana to the best 137 validators. Now I'm very public about this, but I am the general manager of validator.com and I definitely want you to stake with us. So I'm gonna show you another way that you can do it as well. So this says one sole stake at Marinade is currently worth 2.4 sole stake to validators due to a special thing with MSOL. So let's go back to marinade.finance. Let's click on validators. And up here, I'm just gonna type in validator.com. Click on it. Just so you're aware, you can do this as many times as you like. So one thing that I do is I buy a little bit of soul every day and I stake every day. That's just me. It's just my personal preference. It's dollar cost averaging, but you can do whatever you like. Now you see it says liquid staking confirmed and 3.525 MSOL received. So the reason why we didn't get 4 MSOL is because the value of MSOL is higher. Now we can just click on close and we're good to go. I'll put one more here just so we can see all the information. So the staking rewards fee, so Marinade takes 6% of your return. Now the returns are around about 7.8, 8%, and that is taking 6% of that. So you're still getting the vast majority, you're getting 94%, and Marinade's taking that small little bit, which is well and truly less than 0.5%. It says the staking APY is just over 7%. I believe it's actually higher than that, but that's just my opinion. And for some reason, this calculator is not working properly. So I'll let the team know that basically, if you get a 7% return on 100 sol, it should be 7 sol and it's saying 0.7. So just I need to fix the calculator. Now this is the first way to do it. If we jump into our wallet, we can see we've got some M sol right there. We're all good. Now if we go back to staking and we click on marinade native, we can just take you know, a portion of soul and distribute it amongst everything. We will still have our soul, we can stake it. And this is just basically dispersing it across multiple validators, which is good for the network. But of course, GM of validator.com, I do want you to stake with us, of course. One soul successfully staked. If we jump in here, you can see this did not climb at all. If we jump onto our Solana, you can see your stake, one soul, and it's activating. So that's where we'll see it, as covered in the tutorials in the beginner's course, all on staking. But as I mentioned, I want some M soul for this particular purpose. Now, just quickly, two videos ago, I covered the risks in DeFi, audits, exploits, bugs, and all that sort of stuff. So what I'm about to say now is not financial advice. It never will be, it's just purely educational. However, Marinade has been around for quite some time. They've had multiple fantastic audits and there's never been an issue that I'm aware of. So I do trust using Marinade Finance and I do trust having MSOL. I guess there is for transparency, the very slim chance that your MSOL would be worth less than your soul in the future. However, that is very unlikely. But just for transparency, last year in November, FTX was found out to be bankrupt and you could not withdraw your crypto. It was terrible, completely terrible. And FTX had a huge help in making Solana successful. So a lot of people started selling their Solana and those that had staked it were unstaking it. So anyone that had MSOL then, if they wanted to quickly swap to Solana, the peg 
the price, it wasn't good. So I'll just show you what that means. So if we jump into Jupyter and we go to the swap function and we just switch that, we go MSOL and I go like up and I click on max. You can see I put in four soul and I basically get four soul back. I don't know what it dipped down to back then, but it dipped lower than what was actually valuable. However, it wasn't a big deal. You just had to wait one epoch to unstake it properly. There's also a non-zero chance that in the future, there is some exploit where MSL becomes less valuable. It is highly unlikely in my opinion, and the risk is worth it, but I'm just being transparent. So now we've got this active position. If we wanted to unstake it, we could just click on unstake, or we can just click add stake if we wanted to add more. If we click on unstake, we can click on max, and we'd get back basically the exact same. This is instant. We can also click on change and I can redelegate Blaze Soul if I want to, to Marinade Soul. Or I could unstake via Marinade Native, or I could unstake this as well. So let's click on this one and then click unstake. And it gives a time when I'll be able to access the soul. It says simply return to the app on that date and claim your soul. Remember, we can also just do this in the Phantom Wallet. I'm not going to worry about that, but it's just an idea. If we want to change this to instant, we can still get it all back. It just costs a little bit of soul first. We can just click on confirm and it says successfully unstaked. If we have a look in our Phantom Wallet and click on our soul and then our stake, it says inactive. This is inactive. We click back to overview and then we can click claim or we can just claim it in the wallet itself and confirm. Back into Phantom and we can see 4.2 Sol. We're all good to go. Let's have a look in here. I think I've got a couple of stake accounts. Okay, we've got three, two with validator.com and one with Dix, which is DGen Infrastructure Core Services, which is the DGen DAO validator. If I want to, I can change wallets up here. Just disconnect, connect wallet change it over, connect, and it will show these active positions. And I could take as an example, this one and just redelegate max, change my delegation here. If I want to, I'm going to go manual. I still want it to go to Dix, but it's now going to be a liquid token. So we can redelegate to Sol and confirm. We can basically see that we're transferring the control of the to Sol plus the little bit extra, and we're receiving some MSOL. So we can confirm that, and now it's MSOL. I'll do this one as well. So redelegate, change this delegation to validate.com. Here we are, max to Sol, redelegate. Before we confirm, you can see it says delegate to 137 validators and automated. So once again, the UI is confusing me a little bit, but Marinade is definitely on top of things. They're great. So we've now staked to validators, multiple validators via Marinade Finance. There are other things that you can do with Marinade and we can cover them in the future as well. But in our next video, we're going to be jumping into Jito Soul. Until then, stay curious and we'll catch you in the next video.